iron in the soul. What's up, YouTube? This is your big brother, King Jabez, about to say another very important message. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, share this video, leave a comment, let me know what you think about my content. In addition to that, please feel free to follow me over on Instagram at the King Jabez, as well as my website, theironsoul.com. Whatever you decide to do, it will be greatly appreciated. Let's do some work. Today's video is entitled Passing the Humiliation Ritual aligns you with your person. And this is just a very important message about kingdom relationships and to be more direct, a kingdom marriage. I believe that the first step to finding your person is to not look for them in the first place. I want you to process that. The first step to finding your person, your spouse, your man, your woman, your husband, your wife, is to not look for them in the first place. You guys who've been following me now for close to five years, I've been very private about my private life. And I felt led of the Most High to share that picture just a few days ago, celebrating 11 years of marriage. And one of the ways to keep their marriage sacred is to keep it private. And I'm going to continue to do that. But I shared that to motivate, to encourage, and to give teeth to this message. Let me say this. I found my wife, honestly, by not looking for her for many years. Prior to dating my wife, engagement, dating, courtship, all of that, relationships. For years, your big bro focused on himself. I was in college, playing college basketball, Division II, four years. I worked as a school teacher. I was traveling to Israel, to India, involved in all type of volunteer work, securing employment, get myself together. So I am a firm believer that it's okay to be single for a while. So if you listen to this message and say, hey, I don't want to find a person, great. I'm talking to those who want to. And, and my belief is to really align yourself with the most high first. I'm going to continue to preach that. The best way to find your person is to become the best version of yourself. You know, we don't ever want to make a relationship our main purpose. So when you put your purpose first, whether that be going to school, securing employment, building your business, building your brand, figuring out who you are, what you actually like. I believe putting yourself first is one of the best things you can do on your journey to finding your person. So let's talk about it. When I met my wife, I was a school teacher. I was in school working on my master's and I was also playing college basketball. I had a full life volunteering at a non-for-profit on Saturdays. So I had something going on every day. I wasn't sitting back lonely, depressed, nothing going on. And I just need a woman. And for years, I committed myself to be abstinent. I know some of you, celibacy, same thing, you question that word. But the reality is I made a decision to keep myself pure for a number of years. You see, from a pure place, you can make a better decision. If you start off having sex with a person right away, you're going to cloud the judgment and the nature of the relationship out the gate. So some of you right there, I know this is, you already told me I right there, I lost you right there. That's the, moment, that's the moment I lost you. You Right away with that, you cl cloud your judgment. And so the best way, in my opinion, to really see if this person is the right one is to keep that sacred, to not cross that line. If you want to really find your spouse, your husband, your wife, give both of yourselves a fair shot at that by removing that out the way. Because what, what happens with a lot of people, once there's no sex, you realize there's nothing there. And, and if that's all you have, I hate to say it, my friends, ladies, men, you don't have a relationship. So what I did with my wife of 11 years, we were dating for three years and we were not in a bedroom experimenting. <laughs> okay. And during that three years, that gave us time to figure out who we are, to have those conversations, to have those arguments, to have those disagreements. What do you believe? What do I believe? Where do you see yourself five years? Where do you see yourself in five years? That's what you want to do first. You, you want to have a lot of conversations first. A lot of dates, different environments, different arenas, meeting their family, they meet your family. Do all that first. But what a lot of y'all are doing right now, and I see this online all the time, which is, is bizarre to me, is you meet somebody, and in two, three weeks, you're already in bed with each other. <laughs> I mean, come on now. And, and, and you're wondering why people out here, look at what's going on. That don't work, gang. And, and, and part of that, and this is my opinion now, I believe social media 
has done so much damage, not just to this generation, but to the world in general. I said, oh, man, I ain't trying to hear all this. All right, big, big bro, man, this, you pretty, I'm gone. You was cool. He said, no, 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 no. You've been listening to me. I'm your big brother, right? Come here. Don't run. I know you want to run now. Come here. Don't run. Come here. You, a lot of you, you base your relationships on social media. You don't know these people. You don't know what they got going on behind closed doors. You don't know what. It, it's, you cannot base your life on that. It's, it's about having a real relationship in real life. You feel me? Now, some of you to hear this message already know you don't trust men. Some of you ladies, some of you men don't trust women. And you got all that content in your mind from all these content creators who are telling you you can watch a thousand videos on why you should not trust women. And you can watch a thousand videos on why you should not trust men. And it's even popular now. I'm seeing these conversations from all type of people, even known people, that just having one person doesn't work. And that's never worked in society. And you got all this stuff in your head. In my opinion, this just trying everything possible to remove men and women from that solid relationship between a husband and a wife. And so what has happened right now, due to social media, due to all this content, you're being presented with every alternative but that. And so the last thing people want to hear about, and I, I know even doing this, that's why I haven't talked about it all year. Because I know I'm honest, I'm not a fool. I've been online for almost five years, and I know for a fact most of y'all don't even want to hear this. Views probably gonna be low on this to be honest. Yeah, I already know it's probably gonna be low views because people ain't trying to hear that. Big bro, that don't work no more. I hear you, but for those who want it to work, it can work. So let me give some advice to the fellas and to the women. Yeah, I me, mean, big bro, I'm gonna talk to both of y'all today. Let me talk to the men first, my boy. If you want to have a relationship, now if you don't want one, that's fine. That's your choice. If you say I ain't on that at all, cool. But stop getting married with the women then. That's what you, if you go say that, then you can't have both. You can't just, no, nah, I don't want a relationship. I want to, you know, you know. <laughs> no. If, if you want that, my advice has been consistent for almost five years now. You put yourself first. You put God first. You work second. Then you find a woman. That is the proper process. That's exactly what I did. And I dare say that's why I've been married for 11 years. I put God first, my boy. I didn't put no woman first. I was connected to Most High, praying, meditating, fasting, Understanding words, stuff I'm teaching. I had to learn all this stuff first. I didn't just get online and start teaching. <laughs> I had to learn all this. I had mentors. I had men talk to me who were 40, 50, 60 years old. I had a lot of people giving me game, teaching me, granddaddy, uncles, father figures. You understand me? And so I let men pour into me and teach me first. I let God talk to me. I secure work. I went to school. I ain't saying you gotta go to school. You can do what you want to do. You know what I mean? You ain't gotta go to school. If you gotta do something. Military, trade school, entrepreneurship, business, sports. You gotta do something. Whatever it is for you, right? So we all we know we all have the same path. But I figured out what my lane was. So my lane required me to go to school. So I did that, right? Once that was complete, that's when I met my wife. Of course, girlfriend at the time. So when I met her, when I was already on my grind, I didn't meet her. I met my wife when I was like on my grind for about six years. No cap. That's when I met my wife. I didn't meet her, you know, just out to get I need a woman. I, I, I knew in my mind, this is me. Because we're all different. A lot of y'all, okay, that's good for you, big bro. You're older now. No, no, I ain't trying to hear that. This is how I was thinking when I was 20-something, gang. So I, I don't want to hear that excuse. That's an excuse. Some of y'all use age as an excuse. This is me thinking this way at 20-something. I'm going to put me first and figure out who I am. What do I want to do? What is my mission on the earth? You see what I'm saying? That's what you got to be thinking as a man. And generally speaking, as a man, about 25, you should kind of have an idea of what you want to do. You may not have all the details at 25, but by 25, you should have a pretty good idea. This is what I want to do. At 25 for me, I knew that I wanted to be a communicator, right? I, I didn't know all the details. I didn't know what platform would be in person, out of person, out of done it online, in real life, at events with four or 500 people. I've done all that. But I knew that I had a gift to speak to people. That was a gift the most I gave me. And so I dedicated years to reading, to studying, to reflection. So you got to figure out what you want to do. So so about 25, you should kind of know as a man, this is what I want to do. And, 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 and you say, okay, big bro, I don't, I don't know. Okay, that's okay. If you don't know, that's where your mind should be at. You feel me? So you say, oh, man, it's getting real person. You know, you, you know, you're squirming. Age, boy. Quit squirming, my boy. Don't be squirming over there. Mm -mm, I'm going to talk to you. And if you don't know, that's cool. Ain't nobody mad at you. This is what you need to be figuring out right now. Not no date. You need to be okay. What do I want to do? How, how am I going to survive and lead myself and the family through this world? And, and, and once you figure that out, that's the foundation. So let me break it down. Get into as best shape as you can possible. Learn as much as you can. 
get yourself get yourself secure and a steady source of money income coming in that that should be first you're fit you're physically fit you're strong you're in shape right you take care of yourself physically and spiritually and you have a steady stream of income you have a connection with the most high so now you can lead and govern yourself and i can govern a wife and eventually some children for the ladies who hear this message ladies my advice to you is to keep yourself as pure as possible that is your power i don't care what nobody says i'm gonna tell you what i know from talking to hundreds of ladies i did counseling stuff prior to iron and so i'm not a rookie at this i have talked to hundreds yes of women in real life not just online in an office and i believe that a woman's strength is her femininity i don't care what nobody says that is your power base not trying to dominate nobody not your power base is that feminine energy when you can lock in and tap into that through purity through reading through reflection learning from older women you say oh man you might try this okay okay i don't know none okay all of that that's where you should be at you know and, and, and you know this whole idea i see it online all the time now of you know because you you know and i'm trying to say this carefully without offending women i got how, how do i say this because i know some people get offended anyway in your youth, okay, when you, you know, looking your best, some of you at least, that's looking your best. I'm not saying you're going to look bad when you get older. It's not the point because I know it's for some of you are hearing. But you're proud, okay, as a woman. Don't waste that, ladies. Don't waste that thinking, oh, because I look good, I'm going to just have me about 10, 15. But no, I don't think that way. No, get that out your head. Because some of you are thinking that right now. I know you're mad at me. That's okay. I still love you. Get that out your head. You don't need to just be out here wild in your you-know-what phase because you're young and looking good. That's a lie. And what it is is it's bringing your value down as a woman. And if somebody won't tell you, I'm going to tell you. And so keep your value high by keeping your standards high. That is your power base, ma'am. And when you keep that, that will garnish respect, borderline demand respect from the right man. Not a wrong man don't care what you got going on. He don't, you know, <laughs> they don't care. That's simple. But the right man is going to respect that and wants you to be his wife. So with that being said, I want to address everything in one video. I want to kind of put that out there. Passing the humiliation ritual will help you find your person. And I think that becoming who you are is a key to that. Understanding who you are in your mission on this earth. That will help you to align with someone who has similar values, similar perspectives, and similar character. So I hope this video was a help to you. This is your big bro, King Javez. Thanks for listening. God bless. Peace.